Hey, how's it going, guys? Welcome back to another X Kage video. And today we're going to be unboxing Killer Instinct Gold for the Nintendo 64. So about that. So here's a here's a crazy story. So a couple of weeks ago, I was trying to buy the Killer Instinct for the Super Nintendo Complete, but instead the person sent me the Killer Instinct for the N64 Complete, which is honestly a good thing because this is actually worth more than the Super Nintendo, if you don't know. But um, yeah, that's really like lucky of me it seems. But um, yeah, it's, <laughs> I don't know. I just can't believe it still. But uh, yeah, let's get to the unboxing. So it says Killer Instinct Gold. So there's Fulgore. And then his name, I believe, is Tusk. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's Tusk. But yeah, this comes also with the game and manual. And then like the plastic cover that the came with when you buy games from the store. Like the box, plastic box. So yeah, it says only for Nintendo 64. Rated T14. Two players simultaneously. And then you can see two N64 controllers right there. So yeah, here's the side. Killer Instinct Gold, Nintendo 64. And this is Orchid, Orchid, I believe. That's her name. Or it's someone else. Because I know there's other people, but I forgot. I think that's her. And then here's the top. Which it says Killer Instinct Gold again, Nintendo 64. Here's Orchid again. And I think that's um Blaze, I think that's his name. I believe so. Um then here's the bottom, which is Killer Instinct Gold, Saber Wolf, and then TJ Combo, Nintendo 64. And then here's the other side, Nintendo 64, which um I'm trying to think of his name. I think it's Gargus. That's his name, yeah, Gargus. And then here's the back, which I'll just show it when I open it because um, you can't really see because of the plastic it comes with. The plastic box, like the shrink wrapper. So yeah, let's open this up. So yeah, here's the plastic thing. As I said, it comes with usually when you bought the game from like a store. So yeah, let's get back to the back. So it says official Nintendo seal of quality. Um, it says Killer Instinct Gold. Then it shows scenes from the game. Uh, the beautiful quality at the time. Oh yeah, it says rated T and includes animated violence and animated blood. Um, So yeah, let's read. Killer Instinct Gold rocks the gaming world with earth-shattering moves and unbelievable graphics. Your battles unfold with lighting, fast action, and fluid character animations at 60 frames per second. That is incredible because I did not know that this game was 60 frames per second. Until uh, I until I started thinking about it, I was like, yeah, that's right. The fighting is really fluid. So it's pretty crazy that a game from the 90s is actually 60 frames per second. <laughs> now that's crazy. We faithfully duplicated all the features that have made Killer Instinct 2 an arcade hit. Which if you didn't know, Killer Instinct Gold is basically Killer Instinct 2. Uh, we even thrown in a complete training mode to school you on all the no moves. The eye-popping graphics... Explosive hits and jaw-dropping combos make Killer Instinct Gold the only fighting game you'll ever you'll want in your house. And again, that says Killer Instinct Gold. It says real-time 3D interactive battlegrounds, lighting, fast action, and fluid animations at 60 frames per second. Revolutionary training mode teaches you all the moves, hundreds of thousands of killer combinations, team tournament modes, 10 killer fighters, one grotesque bad guy. Which is um, Gargus. Nintendo. I kind of miss Nintendo's old logo. The red. Brought so many good memories. Nintendo of America Incorporation. Made in Japan. Um, last thing I was going to say though. It's just crazy that this game is still 60 frames per second. Because like. Even if you look at today now. Most games are like 30 frames per second. Like there has. I haven't. There's yet to be a console game that I at least know of. Well if you know one. Put it in the comments down below. But there's yet to be a game that I know of in a console that's actually 120 frames per second. 
So yeah, that's pretty crazy that this game was 60 frames per second at its time. That's how you know Rare, which is like one of my favorite studios of all time. Like they put in work back in the 90s and early 2000s and 80s. It's too bad um that like Microsoft bought them and they're kind of like dead weight now. But hopefully one day they can make a comeback again. But um yeah, <laughs> Rare did a phenomenal job at this game. So yeah, let's open this up. Yes, you can see the green and blue tabs, red. So yeah. Okay. So yeah, here's the manual, instructions booklet, Killer Instinct Gold, Nintendo 64. You can see the Nintendo 64 right there. Then here's the back. Here's Mario, Nintendo. It's basically if you need help and stuff. You know how you used to have that back in their old consoles? Nintendo. So yeah, let me show you the pages real quick. So yeah, there's Gargos again. And it tells you basically how to play, the story, game screen. Um, how to fight basically, how like H button works basically. a lot of reading here's Gargos again oh yeah there's Jago Tusk yeah his name was Tusk oh Kim Wu Maya yeah that is Orchid oh yeah this is Glacius oh yeah my bad I think I called him Blaze but it's Glacius actually TJ Combo Saber Wolf Spinal Fulgore so yeah, that's pretty much it with that. And then here's the box that it comes with. And then the game itself. Killer Instinct Gold rated T14. Gargos, Nintendo 64. Official Nintendo seal of quality, Nintendo. And here's the back, Nintendo. And then the classic description. That every Nintendo 64 cartridge has. So yeah, here's the bottom. The sides and then the top. So yeah, that's pretty much it with the unboxing. Yeah, it's kind of different than like the usual ones because I usually be doing like Sony. But I have a lot of Nintendo stuff too that I'm willing to share with you all. So yeah, stay tuned for some more videos as always. But let me just put this box back so I can end this video. So yeah, that's pretty much with this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this video with all your friends on all your social medias that you own. Don't forget to hit the notification bell as always. And yeah, until next time, as always, peace.